It's check-in time with Kesar City's peacekeeping sergeant, Barnabas Eccles. Guys and gals, glad you could make it out tonight. We've got some great developments in the business of furthering hope and goodwill. The quest for order has seen complications, as is often the case in trying times. But 17 arrests were made just this morning, leading to a point zero 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 one percent drop in crime for Stormbug's capital. That's the takeaway. Anyone can make a difference, for better or worse. We'll be right back. you could make it out tonight. Had to. Been slow lately. Perhaps if your establishment had a more I inviting name. Yeah, we thunk on it, but nothing better says what we're all about. Look out, Barry! Oh, what the fuck? I'm... I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. Are you lost? We ran away from Miss Rosenbaum. The Orphanage Keeper? Is that where you got... What are you called? Dot. That's Wojtek. Uh, he's... little. Dot. Wojtek. Pleased to meet you both. You did a fine job saving me just then. Come on. Let's head back to the peacekeeping base. With proper training, I have a feeling you could be a great soldier of our cause. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't rooting for you. Wow, that is the closest I've ever seen someone come to the solution. Literally one cup off. At this rate, logic dictates that you definitely got this if you go another round. One more. Oh, come on, Frank! You've already flushed a week's salary! Let's go already! Quick, tuple or nothing! I'm going home. Of all my honeymoons, this is by far the second worst. Have at it. Well, if that's your choice... Who am I to argue? <laughs> Which 
one should we go for, Figaro? You're the one who felt like resting something. Call it. Well, seeing we've already told Abrica Dildo to close up shop, I'd say her two strikes are up. Sorry, I was aiming for your dick. They'd never zigzag anymore. You should be grateful we managed to get you on charity work. Your skills will be a boon to Dot's unit. <laughs> oh, Dot's unit will take good care of you. Dot! You've got a new mage. Is that so? Wonderful! Ugh, we've been needing one for our squad. Oh, looks uncomfortable in those cuffs. I'll unlock them for you. That's what we're all about here, right? Helping the poor and storm bug one lost soul at a time. Yeah. Thanks. No problem, stranger. Let's get you acquainted with the rest of the crew. <laughs> I'm making a special dish to commemorate your impending promotion. It's cold SpaghettiOs, but it's got green beans in it, so, you know, it's healthy. I appreciate that, but I borrowed those extra cans from the food supply so that we could donate them to people once we start patrolling. Oh, sorry. Does Barry know? No, but we've been short on food, so keep it quiet. Okay. Hi there, my name be Wojtek. I'm this unit's warrior. Yourself? Wingara. Luna! Would you like to introduce yourself? She's kind of shy, but one of the best PR directors the peacekeepers have. Tell her why you joined the cause. It's better housing than the sidewalk. What a go-getter. She really is. She, she started her own business? I fucked people for money. But managed to cut out the middleman. She was her own pimp. So, she's got that entrepreneurial spirit. Are you done cutting the video so that I don't have to? Yes. You're just in time to see our unit's big project come together. After we nail this, we'll finally be set to patrol the streets! You guys don't... leave this place? <laughs> oh, we do, but only to snag B-roll for our in-house productions. Case in point. Crime, drugs, bad things. Just a small handful of the problems being solved on a daily basis by the peacekeepers. Some say the peacekeepers prove ineffective and fall to corrupt tendencies all too often, but the numbers don't lie. I've compiled the stats, and in the past year, rapes have dropped 5% while murders have only increased 2%. So, depending on how you rate the badness of each one, we're arguably improving. Good Lord Jonathan! In the event of an emergency, contact Peacekeeping at 555-364-2061-80997, extension 446-0945. Then press pound. It's good. For what it is. What do you think of it? Other than missing the cut on Jonathan's unfortunate demise, I'd say we're solid. If I saw that ad, I'd be praying for someone to assault me so I could call. That's very sweet. But since the Archduke has decided to take a hands-off approach, we're really fending for ourselves. I've been trying to ration the food supply, but someone's been skimming it on the side. Tell you what. This is a fantastic first pass. Let's consider it a practice run. We'll shoot it all over again, and since this one is already so good, the next one will be gosh damn amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. amazing. We'll grant you another VHS tape, and uh, you can go grab as much footage as you need. Absolutely. I'll get one for you now. Just have fun with it. Sound good? Sounds... yeah. After 
15 years, I have to say it's impressive how much you've not improved at all. 16, and my, admittedly, minor developments... Non-existent developments. ...is better than going straight up backwards. Don't you two ever get tired of being his attack pigs? Nope. <sighs> you were the top blood donor this year, yes? Five gowns and counting. I only passed out six times. And once was because you switched my V to a leech. Oh, that was a fun week at the infirmary. I just wanted to ensure we had enough of your blood, so I wasn't wasting it. <laughs> <laughs> How about I get my stuff now? For defense. Of course, Virginia. It's Wangara. Not in your case, Violet, it's not. Can I just say how adorable it is you painted those little plastic toys to match your clothes? Whoops. Thought I saw a leech on it. My bad. Hey, what the hell? You can handle that, right? Of course I can. Good. You couldn't script this stuff. Save the battery. We'll need that to shoot something else. That something else being what? You. Detaining the gang members who run the old Kazar Museum. The Skullfuckers? Which gang is that again? They're responsible for 42% of the drug trade and 78% of the arms trafficking in Kazar. Also, they fuck skulls. Oh, those Skullfuckers. Interesting choice. I think it could work if we- <laughs> I'm not that dumb, Wangi. Oh no? Because you're talking about killing the city's most unpredictable gang members. Not killing. There are consistently two guards in front of that museum packing firepower. If we get the drop on them with some of this, that's two less on the streets. Where did I go wrong tonight? Zigzag. I should have zigzagged. Guys, I thought this would be, like, unanimous. You're not excited? I'm excited. No, you aren't. <laughs> Never mind. I just think Barry will be more mad than impressed. He'll be too busy being inspired to be either. It goes without saying that he stings now, but I know that he didn't always. Based on what those check-in time shows, do you also think actors playing bandits spend their nights robbing liquor stores? You'd be surprised. If he really hates it and does make us do it again, then good. We'll use it as a means to keep coming out here and keep fixing things for as many times as it takes, got it? Was that stoic or just mean? Uh, I'm trying to make a point, is all. Better idea. We leave. One of my exes went crazy and built a bomb shelter outside the city. He's definitely dead by now. We'll seal ourselves in there, go all hunter-gatherer, and start over. Yeah, no. I'm not doing real work. And I'm not going anywhere with no TV. Hmm, true. How will we find out what happens on the next Perry and Jagaloo? Listen! We can go back to the unit cell and keep living comfy-ish lives making crappy videos while laying around. Agreed. But these people can't. They don't deserve it, Spot. Dot. Whatever, they got free reign and this is what they did with it. Nobody stopped them. Exactly. They don't know any better. Born into circumstance. And where were you born? In the land of gumdrops and free oral sex? They made their beds. They can lie in them. Says the lady who literally just tried running away from her consequences. Shall accept further punishment for when the time arises. All right, then your further punishment is detaining these guards for us. Ooh. Sure it's just two. Are you sure you're a professional? Yeah, for someone always sorcering, you don't seem to lose yourself in emotion much. <laughs> you know, I never realized how easy it was emptying one's mind to tap into transdimensional planes of magic and existence. Feel free to educate me. The skull effers will be the ones getting educated. And who knows? If they catch on quick, maybe we won't even have to apprehend them. Please leave me be. I didn't mean to step on your turf, honest. Do the town criers have something against the skull fuckers? No, don't say that! We're the skull lovers now. It's our rebranding from you know who. Oh, I hate that guy. He's so awesome! I don't mean any offense to your organization, sir, or, or ma'am. Let me ask you something. 
Do you know what these skulls represent? Um, how many skulls you've fucked? Lucky guess. We live up to our title. Let's see how well the town crier does. Oh, please don't hurt me. So far, so good. Luna, roll camera. Just shooting a prank vid. Gotcha. You guys will be quite the treat once we celebrate after our meeting. Especially you, pretty boy. Thank you. Locked up twice in one night. This has actually gone better than expected. At least we'll get laid. Even if it's through our ear holes. I've had worse experiences. Just not many. At all. See? It all balances out. I've only used something this advanced once. Tried casting a spell and scrambled my ex's brains. That's what made him go mental. Oh, I'm so sorry. How do you guys meet? <laughs> well, he used to sexually harass me, so I invited him on a date with the ulterior motive of testing sorcery on him. Uh, well, I wouldn't exactly call him an ex when you tell that story. Still, I'd be lying if I said it didn't hurt. My ego. So, thankfully, Barry will be here shortly. I signed an appointment on his calendar about it. I was kind of hoping he'd catch us in action. Now I'm really hoping... Hey, Mr. Eccles. Welcome to the... Welcome to the club. See that? He's raining hell upon the gates, but with a drizzle. All subtle-ish. Place looks nicer every time I visit. For those of you not up to snuff, the Skull Lovers and Peacekeepers are experiencing a merger. Now that the Archduke's been hands off with the department, we can run ourselves. And merging with your operations will not only keep us funded, but keep yourselves armed. Should the public discover and disapprove of our business, we'll be using the proceeds to build mobile defense modules. Let me introduce the prototype. Uh, still working out the kinks. Thankfully, it seems you fellows are more well equipped for this gear than my men. In a few months' time, it won't be an issue. To the merger! Huh. Sorry, Doc. No, it's okay. This has only been... everything. Is that still rolling? Uh... Yeah. We got a deal. I don't mind if I do. Thank you. <laughs> I made it myself. <laughs> no, I do not What the do? No, I Once everything settles, and all the peacekeepers are still supported, we'll have you to thank, Dad. Congratulations, Barry. Got another cut already for me? <laughs> Boy, howdy do I. In fact, it's so rich with information, I'll play it for the whole damn public. What's on that tape? I'm about to show you. Don't. Too late. Oh, I think the silent button was hit when it landed on the ground. Looks like there are people here less efficient than you, boys.
How about you leave the city? Go feed some starving villagers in the west, or slay dragons in the Ignis Mountains, by all means. Just don't turn up again. That's next, if I can't keep... attempting to fix your mistakes. I wasn't making an arrest. I was buying an ounce You were buying leeches, I know. I was trying to stop you. Get going. So I guess we should give those cans back, huh? We tricked you. Pardon? The cans of food that Dot borrowed for charity. We still have some left over in the unit cell. Hi-ho, Eccles. Trapped your little escapee friends back here. Didn't know you'd be sending spies showing up, offering themselves up as a perfectly good skull of McNeil, and then bailing on us just as you leave. Oh, what a perfect coincidence. So now the deal is off. Sick and bloody your business, your employees, and your family skull habits. In just a couple of minutes, it's a tall building. Bye, Dot. Dot! Miss Ellsworth, I knew I saw a spark in there. It looks like dreams do come true. Funny sort of business how that glove works, though, isn't it? Of course, you must be the master, going from a children's kit to such advanced hardware. Could never comprehend it myself. Comes with the curse of having a brain constantly trying to get one over on everyone else. Surely your fate. How about you save us all another 20 seconds and just let the shield down yourself? Better to do it of your own accord than to be let down by yet another mediocre, disappointing act of utter incompetence. Fix! This is what we talked about. Real change. You don't have to be an attack pig. Maybe you're just a nice regular one. Shoot it! Shoot them! Shoot something, you idiots! Could an idiot do this? As for you four... <sighs> Shit, how do they know how to drive that thing? They'll be back. Attention all peacekeepers, this is your new co-captain, Figaro. Barnabas, his kin, and his vague means of operating this organization are dead. We'd like to thank Dot's peacekeeping unit for helping us realize this change. This couldn't have happened without you. We're also publicly partnering with the Skull Lovers. And weeding out Quasar's scum with the utmost prejudice. The world is ugly. The world is cold. Uncompromising. Even frightening. But the world will continue spinning the way it always has. It's our job to work with it. Because really, who's gonna try and work against it? <laughs>